Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's yours truly. I have the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and there's a remote play feature that is available that essentially gives you the ability to play your Steam library anywhere in your home. You can pair your phone to your PC so long as it's on the same network, and you can go ahead and utilize this remote play feature on Steam if you're, let's say, you're at your office, maybe you're at your university or library or at like some hipster cafe, which I like to frequent to work on, you know, my projects and stuff. Um, so the sky's the limit with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and I'm going to be using the Dex feature. I'm going to try to jump into Discord and see what I can do. So this is going to be incredibly exciting, but first things first, um, let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and top left-hand corner, go to Settings, or go click on Steam, go to Settings, and then Remote Play. And you want to make sure that you enable remote play. Right now, I don't have any devices linked to this PC. And I'm not messing with any of these features. If you're having terrible, result, ugh, terrible results, you can go ahead and tinker with the advanced settings. You can switch between client options streaming to this computer. Uh, I, I think balance is what people have the best results with. And allow direct connection, IP sharing, automatic enabled. So I'm just going to leave all of this as is. Now let's go ahead and jump to the phone and uh, begin the pairing process. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download the Steam Link app. And I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So you want Steam Link. All right, let's wait for this to open up. All right, we're going to have this. Uh, we're going to hit the get started part. Now, I already have a keyboard and mouse connected to my phone, so I'm going to skip this part. It's going to tell me or prompt me to go ahead and connect a controller. I'm going to select the little computer icon there, and now I'm going to receive a code, and I'm going to input that into Steam on my PC, the actual gaming PC. All right, so that four digit code or however long that code is, you just go ahead and input that code into Steam. This little tiny window right here, this pops up. Once you enter in that code, you're done. All you need to do is leave your Steam application open. Don't mess with anything else. And uh, it should just work. That's it, you're done. Now I'm going to show you what happens after you are done inputting that code. I filmed the entire experience from my GoPro and hopefully you enjoy it. All right guys, my battery is dying on my phone, I mean on my camera, so what we gotta do is I'll open up the Steam Link app. I'm using Samsung DeX. You can use, uh, use this without the thing, but yeah. Uh, so we have the Xbox Series controller plugged in, we got a keyboard and mouse plugged in, and the connection is fair. I know it's a little bit better than fair, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and start. I'm gonna show you how well this thing runs. All right. Now the cool thing about uh, what what sets um, let's go ahead and play some PUBG. What sets uh, the Steam Link streaming app apart from like a Parsec or a Moonlight or any of the other stuff that exists out there is the fact that the games that are native to Steam, the Steam library, they uh, they run um, maybe not better but they they are more reliable in regards to hardware what i mean by that is if i'm using parsec and i'm trying to play PUBG and i try to use a mouse and keyboard uh the mouse isn't going to cooperate with me all that much because of the anti-cheat that is uh, enabled uh when when you play online i had the same problem with um, Call of Duty Warzone, I circumvented that by using the Xbox controller uh, on Parsec. Uh, so that was a nice workaround for PUBG, but it didn't work for Call of Duty Modern Warfare um, or Call of Duty Warzone, which is really unfortunate because uh, I had to use a... I, I was like, oh, well, at least I can use a crappy controller. Nope, couldn't do that. So right now I am playing PUBG on Steam Link app, on Steam's own streaming app, and uh, this is what it looks like. So right now I'm controlling the character um, I'm using a mouse. Everything is wireless. Everything is Bluetooth. I'm using the uh, I don't know the Logitech G604, and I'm using the uh, Keychron uh, K2 V2 mechanical keyboard. Very very sleek. Very very cool. I'm probably gonna do a video just on that. Do a video on the um, on how I use Samsung Dex, how to utilize it properly, all that stuff. Yeah, so this is fantastic, you guys. This is fantastic. I finally got the audio working. It was a little trickier than I'd like it to have been, but, you know, it is what it is. 
Um, yeah, I gotta get another. Uh, what's it called? Um, ground loop isolator. So uh, we're gonna get into combat. I'm gonna try to at least kill one person. Um, yeah, so this is really cool, man. And the cool thing about this is that you can utilize this app anywhere where there's internet or Wi-Fi. Now, I'm also going to be doing a separate video on the USB hub that I'm utilizing right now. And that has an Ethernet port. And I already tested that out, and it works awesome. It's just plug and play. So if you plug an Ethernet uh, cable into this hub, your phone is going to get internet. If Granted, if the hub is connected to the phone. And you're going to get that uh, that hardwired connection. We're going to go to military base. Now, let's see. Hey, can I talk to you? Uh, uh, I can't. I, I probably can't use a microphone. Unfortunate, but yeah, because I'm not really sure how the microphone and the 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 audio nonsense works. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you can do though is you can utilize Steam on the on the app. I mean, not Steam. I apologize. But um, oh goodness, what I meant to say is you can utilize. Discord on Samsung Dex while you also and that, that'll be running in the background while you're in a game channel when you're in a Discord channel with your buddies and then of course you're using Parsec or you're using the Steam Link app and it's very very cool let me see what the f where is everybody oh I shouldn't have cussed I'm gonna bleep that out what the heck where is everyone well, I'm by myself well that's kind of annoying it's really annoying. Dude, I literally came here by myself. It's really unfortunate. All right, well, I'm going to fire off some guns. I'm going to show you how this works. As you can tell, the game is running uh, exceptionally well. Somebody went in that direction. Or someone flew in that direction. Let's see. My key bindings are relatively the same. I had an auto run button, but I don't know what what I did with it. I'm using a different mouse, so I'm like afraid to press buttons because something might happen. All right. Da -da -da. Da -da. Yeah, dude, playing the playing this on a on a keyboard is a nightmare, bros. It is a total nightmare. I can't. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm a I'm a diehard keyboard warrior don't want to give it up so the steam link app has a lot of potential but it's not the fastest streaming client out there i think parsec does a way better job uh in terms of like sensitivity uh in terms of uh responsiveness all that stuff and uh you know that's just the the harsh reality of it i think everybody else things that i read online people can attest to that and they're just like oh yeah uh what's it called um Let's see if we can find this rat. Mm, where you at, rat boy? Well, that's unfortunate. Dude, this would have been awesome if I'm with the bros. I'd be like, yeah, dude, we got the, the military base to ourselves. Oh, man. Okay, guys, well... Just wanted to show you it could be done. Here, let's exit to desktop. Let's see if I can jump into one more game really quickly. I'm going to utilize the... Um, utilizing the controller right now. Do, 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 do. This is really, really cool, man. Just the fact that this technology exists. You just you have all these options. Let's play a game really quick. It looks really good, too, on the big screen, man. Dude, these control schemes suck. Hold up. I can use my mouse. Well, I guess not. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The The keyboard just acts really wonky in this game. But it works really, really well on Parsec. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. 
It's like this game, like, yeah, it's running really good. You know, it looks pretty good. And, um, you know, like it works really well with the controller, but I like to play this game with a mouse. And uh, let's see. God, dude, I fucking hate learning how to play games. Oh, wow. X to eject. Yahoo. Free falling. All right. <laughs> uh, dude, where are the guns at, dude? There's so many monkeys around me. Oh, God, oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, guys. Well, I just wanted to show you that this thing worked, dude. I, I can't play. I'm, I'm disappointing everybody with my garbage. Uh, yo, what's it called? Controller skills. Maybe one more. Because that wasn't that f not fair. Yeah. Uh, waiting for players. Dude, I got time for that. I got time for that. You, you get the point, guys. This thing is awesome. It works okay. Um... The, the the mouse and keyboard is is flawless. The controller is a little bit wonky. That's just because I'm a keyboard warrior at heart. So, yeah. If you got any questions, please leave a comment. Um, don't don't be afraid to reach out to me. Help you set it up if you need help. I mean, there's only so much I can do though. Recommend having a good internet connection, that sort of thing. Dude, I look like Frank Castle. I got a little GoPro on my head. Yeah, dude, this is so weird controlling this with the controller bros. These controls are all messed up, man. Ugh. All right, guys. Take care. Peace out.